Developing now, Chatham County continues to see a lot of economic growth. The city of Bloomingdale is no exception. But after the last city council approved a slew of industrial zoning, the current administration says it's more important now than ever to put an emphasis on residential life. Yeah, Shay Schrader is joining us live this morning at Bloomingdale City Hall. Shay, what does the current administration see in Bloomingdale's future? Aria, they tell me that they kind of see Bloomingdale being divided into three separate but kind of distinct areas, and that would be the Highway 80 downtown district, a warehouse district, and then a commercial and residential area over off of I-16 and Little Neck Road. Now, this all comes again after a lot of warehouses have popped up in the city, and in speaking to the mayor of Bloomingdale, he says that the goal moving forward is going to be to try to balance out those warehouses and the industry uh, the industrial zoning in the city with the wants and needs of the people that live here. I was in Pooler from 2000 and, or from 1987 to 2007 and it's just like going back and watching the movie over. It's the same thing happening. What's happening is rapid growth and development in the city of Bloomingdale. Some of it, like residential homes, are sorely needed. If a development agreement is approved by the Bloomingdale City Council on Thursday, 470 homes will be on their way. Add that to 263 that have already been approved. But some of the development, like 40 warehouses that have been built right next to residential neighborhoods, are less welcome. Approved by the last City Council, Baxter says they've affected quality of life for some Bloomingdale residents. I get to look up every morning, walk out to get my morning news and I see a warehouse staring at me. And what it's done to the property values of those residents is unbelievable. Baxter says that he and his council are also left dealing with collateral issues like traffic the warehouses bring. In particular, he says accidents have already started happening at the intersection of Jimmy DeLoach Parkway and Bloomingdale Road, which doesn't have a stoplight or street lights. That area will soon be turned over back over to the city to maintain and have ownership over. Mm -hmm. And it's a liability that I just, I don't feel like our city's uh, able to take care of. Overall, Baxter sees the future of Bloomingdale divided into three areas. The main Highway 80 district, a warehouse district, and a commercial and residential area off of Little Neck Road. The goal moving forward, Baxter says, is to focus on the things that cater to the people that live in Bloomingdale. To say we'll balance it out, no, I don't think we'll ever make that balance, but I certainly think we ought to try to go in the right direction. The city already has several things in the works to add new businesses and traffic improvements in the city of Bloomingdale. Coming up on the next half hour of the News at Daybreak, I'm breaking down what business you might expect to see soon off of I-16 and Little Neck Road. Live in Bloomingdale, Shay Schrader, WTOC News. Happening now, Israel is in the second week of its war against the terror group Hamas. More than 1,400 people in southern Israel have already been killed.